Okay, guys. So, I guess I've just been either too tired or too busy to to post anything on here for a while. But um I really wanted to talk about this. So, this probably won't be a very long video and I say that now and 10 minutes later I might still be going strong but uh so I guess a lot of people who don't suffer from anxiety want to know how to support somebody who does and honestly as someone who suffers from pretty bad social anxiety the kind of support that I need is compassion. Um, I mean, if you start from compassion, you probably won't go wrong. Oh, I kind of, I just need, you know, a listening ear that's not uh, judgmental. Um, I just need somewhere to go to to express my feelings. Um, part of what's been so problematic for me in the past is trying to bottle up my feelings and keep them to myself. Um, and I've, I found that having safe people to go to talk to and work through my anxious thoughts helps a lot. And it helps if the other person can just listen with compassion and not pass judgment on my situation. Because you have to remember, I didn't ask for anxiety. And if it were a choice, this definitely isn't something I would choose. And if I'm having a really anxious moment, then I'm really going to be hurting because of it. Anxiety kind of makes me feel like I'm having acid being poured over my skin. It's painful, unpleasant, and it just eats away at me like... The hurting doesn't stop. And perhaps one of the worst things you can do if someone with anxiety comes to you is to say things such as, it's all in your head, or you're overreacting, because that, if, one, it isn't true. Anxiety is very real. And very scary and it's not an overreaction it's a completely normal reaction to the intense amount of emotion that the person is feeling in their head you only think it's an overreaction because you don't understand um, just at what depth the person's emotions are at uh, so even if you can't understand, you need to be able to kind of respond with compassion and empathy. Um, and just, I know when it gets bad for me, sometimes I start to feel crazy. And I need, I need to be told I'm not crazy for feeling what I feel, that my feelings are perfectly valid, and that, yes, it's scary, but at the same time, I want to know that I have someone who believes in me, and who thinks I can, you know who will just believe in me and think I can succeed 
in spite of the fear and the anxiety uh, that's really a powerful thing for someone with anxiety just to be proud of them to believe in them to show them that their struggle is not going unnoticed and that their efforts are not in vain uh, one of the worst parts about mental illness just in general is when you're forced to suffer it through it alone and you as a person who cares for someone with any mental illness um, anxiety is the one I'm kind of focusing on because it's the one I'm the most familiar with and also the one that's most relevant to my situation at the time so it's just it's the one I'm thinking about but just to show them that they don't have to go through this alone, that they have a safe place to talk about whatever it is they're feeling, to have someone love them and be proud of them and believe in them, it goes a long way towards helping this person heal because chances are they don't believe in themselves they don't love themselves they're definitely not proud of themselves uh they probably just don't like themselves because of their mental illness that they're going through and to have to have someone who can see exactly what they're going through and to still love them and stand by them anyways it could mean the difference between life or death for people honestly so if someone does happen to come to you with their problem with their mental illness just you know have compassion for the person in front of you and don't don't be so quick to pass your judgment because unless you've been there with mental illness you have no real way of knowing exactly what this other person is going through and i think that's important to remember that you you can't judge because you don't understand the situation you don't have all the facts and you likely never will unless there were a way that you could switch lives with that person and have their brain for a day and see just what they deal with because uh, mental illness is tough and anxiety is no exception to that anxiety is really hard and it's oftentimes just really painful and unpleasant and i just to know I'm not alone through it all has meant the world to me. Um, so I guess to anyone who's been there for me, you know, thanks. I, I don't know where I'd be without you. I really need your love and support to get through this and to survive this.